and then I spent 20 minutes talking about Star Wars, shouting into an echo chamber <laughs> where I have strongly held opinions, and the guy I was talking with had the exact same strongly held opinions. <laughs> just more. God, I don't know why they didn't fucking make episodes 7, 8, and 9 just the Thrawn trilogy. <laughs> Built in excellent characters. They could have recycled their old fucking actors if they'd wanted to push it out like, oh yeah, this is like 30 years later, not like the 10 it is in the expanded universe. Great characters. They would have gotten all of the love and affection from all the hardcore fans, but no, instead they had to make it non-canon. There's your fucking intro, Brendan. <laughs> well, welcome back to Undertale. Uh, Alyssa's drinking water. Uh, and ranting about Star Wars. And ranting about Star Wars, which is just constant. Yeah, welcome to my life. Um, I'm I guess fair. we're gonna go meet Asgore. Ooh, Dark Man. Hey, look, it's that Delta Rune thing. You mean the thing that, like, everybody fucking wears on their clothes? I got stopped. Orally now. Oh, hi! Sans? Dead. Um, wow, that's a- why is there- why is Sans just standing next to a lamp? <laughs> so you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now the... You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. Your execution points. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive, just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gain love, but, but you, you never gain love. But you gain love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Winky face. He wants your dick. Well, this He's entire- He's gonna put that bony orifice of his eyeballs all over your dick. I mean, the entire goal of this playthrough has been to date songs. You're not wrong. There's still no response. They're too busy having a cooking lesson. I should have called Toriel from their- From the, uh- from That would have gone wrong. Well. <laughs> from her room in New Home. <laughs> her room? Uh, the room that she read in in New Home. Whatever. Oh, like, yeah. Like, her counterpart of, I guess, Old Home. Sh should I equip the heart locket? I feel like I should. It's got lower defense. It says best friends forever, though. Well, yeah, what else do you put in the locket? Picture of your lover when you're a child? That's gay. Throne room. Oh. Hi. Oh, what's over here? A corridor. Not the throne room. <laughs> Other things. Oh. Well then. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Brens. It's, it's empty. empty. That's where they plan to put my body after they take my soul. <laughs> well. I mean... Well, at least they're prepared. Oh, oh, the lore I can get into after you've done a run or two. 
You don't have to Google anything. I've already done it like a bajillion times in the last four years. Hi. Like three, three years. You must be King Asgore. Dum de dum. He has a nice ass garden. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I am almost finished watering these flowers. Is he teabags them all? That's why Flowey's so evil, because he's tired of asking teabagging him. <laughs> Here we are. So is Toriel like his wife? Because that's what I'm getting from this. How oh, can I... look at him. He's so sad. Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. I mean, we could have that tea anyway. Free healing item? Yes, please. Look, I'm I'm down with sitting down and having a nice cup of tea. Nice day today, Yeah, huh? I read your diary, man. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Except your son's dead. Ouch. He could learn how to juggle and just play catch with himself. I mean, he could have had another fucking kid. I get it. I get it. There's You cannot replace a dead child. But... You could have had a new heir to the throne. <laughs> I don't think that's his problem, but like, you know. You know what means. What if the next heir was gonna be an asshole? It was fucking flowery. When you're ready, come into the next room. Well, what I must do is sit on your throne. <laughs> Take a shit on it. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. And it's the Delta Rune. And more save points. <laughs> they well, really like save points. Well, it's more like they don't want you to have to go through dialogue again if you're not the type to save. Oh. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. I can see you. Yeah, that's right. Visit the dentist. You have to pull your tooth. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. <laughs> the end. The end. Well, then, this is quite the room. It's actually three. This is the barrier. <laughs> this is what keeps us all trapped. It's the ground. infinite rooms. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I'm going to go back and call people. I see. I bet they're going to. Anything you want to do is important enough. Oh. Even something as small as reading a book or taking a walk. Please take your time. What an approach to death, though. Still no one picks up on Toriel. Well, why would she? Still no one you picks up on that phone. ran away and disobeyed everything she ever told you. She wanted to raise me like she raised that other human. Because I... My headcanon is now that that's his wife. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. For some boss For battles. Your money. This is it then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Oh, this light. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. In all caps. Human. It is now time to suck my cock. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Have there fun. is no mercy. <laughs> Asgore attacks. Purple lava. Well, Undyne said I should just talk to him. So I'm gonna talk to him. Twi quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. His big old doofy mitts. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Firmly tell him to stop fighting. Stop. Recollection flashes in his eyes. 
His attack dropped. His defense dropped. Oh, I still have the dog residues. <laughs> the day. Well, I'll eat one half of my bicycle. Oh, Hi. yes. Okay. That so was... those ones you have to be moving to not get hit by. It's the orange. Oh, okay. Seems talking won't do anything more good. He's Attack and defense hard. is lowered. Well, I don't want to fight him. So I guess I'll keep talking to him. You did save. But I won't do any more good. In your defense, you did save right before the fight. Right, but I don't want to attack him. It's got a nice, uh, nice trident, though. Looks do, really nice and stabby. Do I have to attack him? I don't want to attack him. But it doesn't seem like I can do anything else. I mean, that's kind of why you took your mercy button. So you only have those two options of fight and act. There is no third option of mercy. Seems talking won't do any more good. It's nice having those extra iframes. Popsicle. You ate the unicycle. I mean, I guess. That's the first time I'd actually done the attack animation. I didn't know quite what to expect. Yeah. Talking won't do any more good. I guess I'll hit him. Yeah, your target, if you have, have not figured out, is the center of bar there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fighting for the first time is weird. It's basically Paper Mario. Your, uh, Diamond Star attack. Yeah. Bicycle. Have the bicycle. Look, dude, I don't want to hit you, but you're not giving me a whole lot of other options. <laughs> Hit me! Fight me! Look, dude, if I kill you, Undyne is going to be pissed at me. And also... It's okay, you're already best besties, though. Isn't that really what matters? I was better at that at the beginning. Is it just me or my attack slowly doing more and more damage? I mean, he might be lowering his defense. I don't remember how they just told you that. Like. No, I guess it was at the beginning. Where they tell you how, like, the weaker a monster gets, the lower its will to fight is. That was, like, right at the start in the fucking ruins. Yeah, and then it said to please use mercy on them at that point. Yeah, except you don't have the mercy button. Uh, after this attack, I gotta go trim a fucking hangnail off before I pick it up. I'll wait till I don't get in the way of the screen, though. Don't, don't trip over cords. Alright, guys, I guess it's just me killing Asgore, which is the exact opposite of what I want to do. 
I can take another hit. You know, it's okay. A little murder never hurt anybody. But I got through the entire game without killing a single thing. I mean, you're not through the entire game yet. I've gotten all the way to this point without killing anything. I don't want to kill anything now. I thought my choices were supposed to matter, Toby. Heh, <laughs> heh. I got Helpful. shit at that. Yeah, they kind of move. It's a bitch. Okay. Bye. Okay. He's down? Well, he's not dead. He still has a sliver. Right. But he's not dead. So that's how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity. At least you have weather down here. And I would let snow. monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, Easy, you could just die no and one. meet them in hell. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. This war that the humans weren't aware of. Take my soul. Leave this cursed place. I'm not going to kill you. After everything I've done to hurt you. You would rather stay down here and suffer. What can I say? I'm a glutton. Than punishment. live happily on the surface. Human. I promise you. For as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take it's care it's of you. The sound from the piano. Oh, it is. You can get more dog residue. <laughs> we can sit in the living room telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. Butterscotch. We could like, like a family. Flowey. Oh no, he's about to make a friend. Flowey. I recognize that fucking attack. Friendship pellets. Oh, there goes the soul. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Well, there go the human souls that Asgore has painstakingly collected. This is Brendan's desktop. Never mind. It's no, just a blank it's screen. just a blank screen for Ramp, them. Because the window died. Okay. Uh, reopen Undertale. You might have to recast the uh, recording. Uh. I don't know how you window select. There you go. There it is. And then. One day they all disappeared without a trace. Is this the way this is supposed to happen? Oh. I guess it it's, is. You're in my world now, <laughs> playing as Flowey. Your love is level 9999. Um, well, we've been going for 20 minutes. Uh, and we're in Flowey's world now. I'm going to just ask you this. Is there going to be enough content here to do another episode? Oh, yeah. Plenty. Okay. So uh, we're, we're going to go join Flowey's world, in which he has a huge violence level. And has been playing for a very, very long time. Um, and we'll see you guys next time for that, I guess.